So Ramesh, show me how to initialize an output pin. So we saw, as we got a sense of how the GPIO pins work. Uh, we said there are 60 pins, and now we're gonna see how to initialize. We call this a setup. And what, what pin did you say? Oh, I don't know, let's try PB1. Okay, and output pin PB1. Yeah, make it an output. Let's make it an output. Oh, which for us, it's gonna be an LED. Ooh, yes. Right? So this is our microcontroller. We're gonna take the PB1 pin here and we're gonna interface an LED to it and we're gonna control it. So, so the, the registers, the device registers we need are, have, are called the pin CM, which is a, CM stands for control management pin, and the other register is a DOE pin. So we're gonna use registers, these two registers to, in the setup of a, of a port pin, a pin on a port. So here's what the pin CM looks like. Ooh. So these are the fields in this pin CM. Like most registers, this register, there's gonna be 32 bits in it. And by the way, there are 60 such registers, one per GPIO pin. Ah. 60 pins, 60 registers. 60 registers. Perfect. So this 32 bit bit um, register is interpreted where we're only looking at the fields of interest importance to us for right now it's bit, bit seven has a significance and bits six we don't care for now, five through zero we care about. So these pins, these, these bits and these bits, this bit have to be set a certain value for output. So let's take a look at what that is. that means. So if I'm working with PB1, if I'm working with PB1, then I have to make sure that I say it is software connected, which means that this bit has to be a one. The next field of interest to us is the bit the bit sequence from five to zero. That's a six bit number. And this one is the mode. And the modes are the various things you can do, make the same pin do. The one mode we're gonna use is a GPIO and the mode setting for that is a one. Perfect. So we're gonna set that to be a zero, 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 one. All right. So that's gonna be our setting. Now, the second part of our part of our configuration setup is to actually tell what kind of GPIO we're doing on this. And in this case, the GPIO we're doing on, on this is output. And we specify that in a register called the DOE register. So the DOE register for us is, is there's one for port A and port B, and because we're working on port B, we're gonna look at this register. This is for B and this is for A. And the specific pin we are looking at is pin 1 because that's my pin 1. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to set this bit to be a 1 to indicate that it is an output. So each of the pins could be either an input or an output. output. Uh. So that's, that's the idea. So how do I do this in software? Now, if I'm writing assembly software, I'm gonna have to do it in a friendly way. And so the way I'm gonna set my output is, first, we know that there are these registers that need to be manipulated. And by the way, this, this register has a name, it's called the IOMUX PB1. So there's an IOMUX for each of the 32, 60, registers, this is the one specific to the port B pin one. So I'm gonna do what I just talked about. So this, I'll put this into some sort of a constant. This is gonna be my constant, which in my case is a is 
zeros everywhere the seventh bit is a one and the remaining bits five through zero are all zero 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 one so this is my value which happens to be if i were to write it that's just the hexadecimal value eight one because that's bit seven that's going to be eight right there and then we have a one so let's start there so we're going to move into a register let's take a register r1 we're going to move this value which is a 0x81 we want to write this to this register and we're going to write it simply by storing storing to that register which means you're going to do an ldr r0 equals io max pb1 this this instruction into r0 brings the address that corresponds to this this is a device address there's an address for it that address comes in here now that we have an address we're going to store into that address the value we have by using the addressing mode which allows us to write to that particular location our second part is going to involve doing our writing to our device register which is the doe register this is the doe register so the doe register we're going to be a little more careful about it because there are many pins on our on on that particular port and we don't want to mess with any pin that we don't want to so we're going to do this step in a friendly way that is we're only going to touch the pin we want and bit we want and not touch the others so now we're going to do the same the same idea again so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to load into some register let's take a register to be r0 again and i'm going to load the gpio and this is the this is the name for this particular register this register here is the one i'm looking at and so i'm going to write that gpio b that's port b doe which has bits 31 through 0 so i say 31 through 0 i get that into a register so right now as a result of this r0 is going to get the value which is this address right here which is 0x 400a 32c0 now i'm going to uh, do get its current value which is into r1 i'll get its current value now i want to update it so the mask i'm trying to create is just a one here so that's just a 0x02 because that's bit one has a one in it so i'm going to move into some register let's move into some register r2 the number pound r2 the pound 0x02 now i could i don't want to write it because that will destroy all these other pins so i'm going to r these two or the current value which is here in r1 with the new value i want it to be so i'm going to do an r1 r1 r2 ah. and this is the step that actually makes it friendly and so once i do that then i can store back to the register which r1 has the value i want and i'm going to write it back to r0 so this reading it changing and then storing it back is the way to do it friendly make it friendly because ah, what nice. we did is we did not interfere with the state of these other bits which might have other io pins on them oh sweet 